So let me show you some early versions of the portable steam boiler. In the 1860s, farmers began using a portable boiler to run all their threshing operations. They originally burned coal or wood, but the smart folks figured out how to use straw, which is a byproduct of threshing, to run their boiler. Now the steam locomotive, pioneered by our friend Richard Trevithick, is one of the most portable of all the portable boilers we've known for obvious reasons. It's always going somewhere. The first steam airplane took flight in 1933 over Oakland, California. Now the boiler on this plane generated 150 horsepower and was so quiet that people on the ground could hear the pilot calling to them from the air. And portable steam boilers were used extensively during the oil boom of the 1800s to power drilling and pumping operations. So I think we've learned that portable boilers have a long legacy. I think I've also learned during steam cultures that wherever something's being made, there's gonna be steam. And whenever there's steam, there's smart entrepreneurial people that are up to the challenge.